was really fast. This time I want to be with you. All right, look what we got today. Here's all of our cabinets as well as our bathroom vanity. That's what they look like. So my office is completely filled with cabinets. Hi. What? I like it. Mm-hmm. What did you say they were? Creamy. No, you said amazing. Amazing. Guys, you want some minion cake? Oh um, no 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 no. All right, crazy week so far. So, I don't even know if I even talked to you guys yet. It's just been so, so, so crazy. So, um, Paul's gonna get mad at me for <laughs> probably saying this, but yesterday um, I wanted to vlog a little bit more and I did not get a chance to because we um, left the house to go run an errand and my lovely husband, had to end up pushing the car because we ran out of gas because he was trying to find a gas station that had like the cheapest price and it was really weird because our it was my car and my car is always either half full i never leave it over um underneath half tank but he actually borrowed it to go downtown a couple days it was just easier so he um it said we had 30 more miles left and my car has that button where you can press it to shut off at lights to conserve gas and he pressed it and that's when the car died so very crazy so we had to deal with that for a few hours yesterday so we didn't get home till really late because as you 
saw this is actually so that was Tuesday this is Wednesday today we started remodeling the kitchen so demo 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 so he took out as you saw all the top cabinets um I actually all day was um taking everything out of the kitchen I was supposed to do that yesterday but because of what happened I just couldn't but as I was almost done with the pantry I was like slowly starting to get tired but it also happens to be Riley's birthday she's officially a teenager I cannot believe I have, thir I have a 13 year old it's crazy 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 but she's actually a dance right now really couldn't do too much for her birthday um she's got competition coming up so they, she can't miss so she's at dance but she doesn't care she's just like I get my costumes today and she always loves to get her costumes and I'm curious to see what they are too but uh, yeah, you're not going to see too much in our videos, the kitchen remodel, because I'm actually going to do a separate video and I'm actually going to, I've been holding off on our remodeling series for quite a bit because actually every room that Paul has so far remodeled is not completely finished. The only room that's close to being finished is Mason's room and we just got blinds on there and we just, we, we he has to put the closet doors in there. So that's the only room that's completely almost finished. Some rooms, like like our room needs the paint in here. Um, but the flooring's on, and then my office still needs to be painted, and it's just crazy. So I'm going to hopefully start that soon. Um, the kitchen, I might even do a two videos. I might do a two-parter. I might do um, the demo and prepping and everything in the floors, and then that way I can post up. And I'm probably going to put all the remodeling stuff on our Thursdays. So Thursdays I will have... Like I said, those are my specialty videos, so I'll probably do that on Thursday. But anyway, so today, um, I got everything out of the kitchen. It's mostly in the basement, and our mostly like our food food, besides like the canned goods and the baking goods, are downstairs in the basement. Everything else is in the laundry room. So hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, but he took off the top cabinets, and he actually told me he's so surprised the cabinets did not fall down because... They were nailed in. They weren't screwed in. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, but I didn't have too much heaviness in the upper cabinet, so it's not. It. I'm just glad. I'm just really, really thankful. Um, because we for the you guys probably don't know this. When we actually lived in our condo, um, thank goodness, uh, we did not have our shower yet because the kitchen cabinets fell down in the kitchen. As I was baking, I was I just got done baking, I was cleaning, and all of a sudden I heard this crunching sound and they all fell down. So I had no cabinets for a year and a half. It was crazy. And then I had my shower um, and I had all my sh like kitchen dishes and everywhere like were on boxes on our kitchen table. Like we didn't have a full kitchen table for like a year and a half. It was crazy. So I'm just glad that didn't happen. But Paul, like I said, got all the um, upper cabinets done and then he started working on the soffit and ran into a little bit of a problem. It was getting dark. So he is going to finish that up tomorrow because actually it's pretty late right now. We have to go pick up Riley at dance and then we are going to sing happy birthday to our birthday girl. I just, I can't believe she's uh, 13. It's so crazy. So, but I actually was getting comments in um, one of my, actually a couple of my videos about my hair. So, some people were saying how they were having trouble. They want the, they want to grow their hair out and they were asking about those heatless curls. Okay, so right now I'm a little like sweaty because I was helping Paul work. My hair seems thicker from those heatless curls and it's like it seems softer so even though it looks kind of greasy I'm actually like this is like three days old so um yeah those heatless curls I absolutely love them I do feel my hair is healthier I only straightened my hair one time and that was for Valentine's Day that was it so I think I've been, what, I've had these heatless curls and I think for like maybe almost like a month. So like I said, highly would recommend it. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it is, it is worth it. So um, I got the 
heatless curls down pack on how I do my hair. So I try to do it like twice a week, like Monday morning and Thursday morning, wash my hair because those are the only days I don't have to go out until later. Wash my hair, let dry for a couple hours, almost till it's dry and then wrap them and then I actually take a spray bottle and spray it a little bit on the parts that are like dry dry so that seems to work um and one time one time I actually had to take my wand and curl my these bangs because they were just completely flat they were doing some weird thing and I don't mind doing the heat on my bangs because my bangs are always so healthy I cut them all the time and they, they grow pretty fast it's just the rest of my the rest of my hair but yeah so for those of you who had the question uh, comment down below if you have any more questions. I would be happy to share you because it has an awesome tip that I would love to share is like those heatless curls are amazing. And I do, like, my hair grows really, really, really slow and my hair seems to be um, kind of growing like at a normal pace right now. So, but I also have not dyed my hair in like a year and a half too. It's just, it's just been too crazy. And I don't even think I'm going to dye my hair until I get the length I want, which is like at least two to three more inches. So, but anyways, yeah, we are going to, um, I'm going to set all the two little ones down for the night because it's actually, normally I put Mason down for bed at like 7.30 and he doesn't go to bed until like 8. He like relaxes watching a movie. Sometimes he, sometimes he will stay up till 10 but he's laying in his bed watching a movie and he's such a good boy and Bella, you know, goes to bed about like 8, 8.32 but because it's Riley's birthday, uh, I want, we want to sing happy birthday to her because by the time she came home and it was just too crazy, she, yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get them ready for bed, and then I think Paul's gonna go pick up Riley because my back is actually kill it's actually killing me pretty bad from moving um the boxes. So I'm very stubborn. I moved all the kitchen stuff like downstairs in the basement, going up and down two flights of stairs, and I'm not really supposed to be lifting with my bad back, but it's okay. I was stubborn, did everything, got all done, and then when I put everything back, it'll be nice and organized. And I cannot. I'm like so excited. I cannot wait for my new kitchen. Happy birthday to you. Why is it okay. so zoomed in? Okay, ready? 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 Hey! Ready? No! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Riley. Happy birthday to you. Good morning. Lord bless you. May the dear Lord bless you. May the dear Lord bless Riley. May the dear Lord bless you. Stop. Blow it up. Yes. Are you a teacher? Hello. Hi. Eh? Look at me. Look at me. <gasps> you look good. Um. <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you. She's outside. Hey, you said you wanted to be on camera. What do you say? Hey. You said you wanted to be on camera. Oh, your eggs. So you lift them up. Boop. Can't go open them? Here, watch. Ready, and... Oh no. Oh. I thought you wanted to say hi. I thought you wanted to say hi. Say hi. Say hello. Oh, you want to do it yourself. All right. So, yesterday we went to Cooper's Hawk for dinner for Riley's birthday. So, that was fun. Um, couldn't do it actually on her birthday cuz she had dance. But that's okay. So we did it yesterday. So it's the end of the week. Um, we're just gonna still. I'm. I can't do too much. I can't because Paul is still demoing our kitchen. He so far has all the soffit rip, ripped out and the top cabinets. We were supposed to do. You want to get everything demoed yesterday? Not flooring, just at least like the countertops and the pantry. And that he actually had some running around to do for work and it just didn't work out. So he didn't get as far as he wanted to yesterday. So hopefully we will um, be able to finish demoing today. I'm hoping because he has to run an errand to again for work. So and it's something that I can't do. So right now I'm just probably going to hang out with the kids and I love Fridays. So I do have to tutor today, but. Yeah, I got tutor today because I had to flip it from the day before to today. But you know what's nice about this one that I, I tutor I too via Zoom. So it, if I if something comes up, it's okay. That I don't mind. It's when you're on your way to the library to go tutor somebody and then they cancel. That's that's the bad thing. But yeah, I'm just gonna. Mason's the only one that's up. Paul is already uh, doing what he needs to do so he can get home to finished demoing and I just I'm still like in shock that we're having a kitchen right now um I cannot wait I cannot wait till it's all done but I think I'm a little overwhelmed now because everything that I took out of the kitchen I don't know how I'm gonna organize it because I really want it to be nice and clean so like I know I had we're gonna an island I don't know if I told you guys but like, I know my KitchenAid that was in the corner is going to be underneath my island. But I still have, like, um, a blender and, you know, the coffee pot. Obviously, the coffee pot will stay on the counter. But I don't know. I'm trying to – hopefully, I could organize a little bit better. Um, I'm not sure how much space I have. I have a couple drawers, but I think most of them are cabinets. But we have two Lazy Susans in the corner. The pantry is going to be pull out, which is going to be so much nicer. So, um, I know that in our last kitchen above the microwave, I had nothing. That cabinet was completely disgusting. I know that I'm going to put all the baking. So actually that frees up the pantry a little bit. So possibly like all the extra stock that I have in, um, the laundry room, like chips and stuff and cereal. I probably won't have to do it in this one, but um, we have to wait on our Lazy Susans and the pull-out chores for the pantry. So hopefully by the time the kitchen's done, hopefully that stuff will be ready because otherwise I'm just gonna leave that stuff that's gonna go in there in the laundry room, but I still have to stack the pantry with the regular drawers, so it's gonna be a pain. I'm just really, really hoping that it's gonna be here before I have to organize, but yeah, I'm excited. I just, like I said, I'm a little, little overwhelmed so if you guys have any tips or tricks for me on or like how I could organize my kitchen like what would you put at the bottom of your island or I, I 
our island's gonna be open. So I don't know if I'm gonna put, I might put the cutting boards down there and the mixer down there. But what else would you put down there? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I should put the cookbooks down there and, you know, buy like a little, like a uh, book holder for the ends. I mean, I've t we have tons of cookbooks. The cookbooks that you guys have seen on my counter was the ones for the Instapot and for, um, what else? Just my Harry Potter one and my, um, what's her face from Laguna Beach and the Hills. Kristen Cavallari cookbooks, that's it. So I only had a couple up there. Not like, but all our other stuff are still packed in the garage, so I don't even know if I'm gonna, um, I don't even know if I'm gonna unpack them yet because we have so much kitchen stuff. So I don't know, but like I said, yes, if you guys have any tips and tricks. I know like we had the Instapot on the counter and that's probably gonna actually gonna be, I'll have enough room to actually put it in um, a cabinet. So that'll be nice. Then I was actually thinking of mixing bowls. Maybe I'll put my mixing bowls underneath. But the only problem with my mixing bowls is I might want new ones because they're red. My, um, when my mom first did my kitchen, my kitchen was all black with a red accent. And the red accent was because I was doing like an oriental kitchen. I mean, I still would love that, but not for how our look is going right now. I would love to do that like in our, um, in our bar or in the basement. So, cause we'll have extra dishes. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know what we're going to do. I just really don't want a lot of stuff on the counter. I really want it to look nice and clean and um i know i bought some organization labels i could have made it myself but the problem was is i don't have the printer that prints white on black and i wanted black labels with white writing so i've got that for spices and i can get it for um pantry items too but i don't really need to organize like my flour and stuff like that so um and then the other thing was um i need to get like spice jars because i want to make that um and then which actually i think our accent now we're gonna do like a charcoal black and originally i was gonna buy all matte gold and i'm kind of glad i didn't because now i'm gonna buy the matte black but i don't know i you know i have those turning things um to put like the spoons and the uh, spatulas and all that kind of stuff kind of over it i mean all my stuff's black but i'm kind of over that so might not do that i know we're gonna have it's i'm actually really excited we're gonna have a drawer on the right side of the oven so i'm pretty sure i don't well, i know we're having counter space there i'm pretty sure it's a drawer so i actually might move all the those spoons in there i don't know i'm just ugh. i don't know you guys gotta help me comment down below what do you think suggestions on how i can organize my kitchen i know i'm just like like what do you guys put on your counters and then if you have an island, like, what would you put underneath your island? I know if you guys saw in my Fab Fit Fun Hunt, Fab Fit Bun, what, Fab Fit Fun box that I unboxed, I got a Lazy Susan in there. And I was actually thinking of putting that in the middle of the island, just as like a decoration. And then if I get any flowers, then I'll put that on top. But I don't know. It's, it's all new to me. I never had like a really, really nice kitchen before. It's always been like... For me non-functioning even when we were in our condo we did have an island i loved it that's where i cut and prepped everything so i'm so glad we're having an island right now but like i barely had any counter space because i mean we were in a condo it's like it was like half the size of my kitchen now and it's just i didn't get to enjoy the look at all because we moved out into this house and that's when paul finished remodeling so it's just i don't know but I keep rambling, so, but yeah, I'm gonna figure out, have a little bit of work, like I said, to do today, hang out with the kids, and then tutor, so. He's already calling me. What? What are you doing? Did you put yourself in there yourself? Can you get out? No. You can't get out? You stuck? You stuck? Oh, well. Oh, you stuck. Hello. Oh. 
Is that comfortable? Is that comfortable? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Hello. Huh? Hello. You're funny. All right, so update. So we um, Paul actually just got home not too long ago and actually um, took off part of the countertop and um, the sink. So he's done. It's it's too late. It's dark out right now. So we actually decided to go out and go get something to eat. So because we were actually going to go out for a meeting and the person canceled on us, but we're going to just go by ourselves. So kids are at home um, fed and hanging out watching movies and we are just gonna go out for just a little bit. So we just got done eating dinner. Such amazing food. I, I brand new place. It's called Toro. So good. I just got locked in right now. But no, really good food. Um, we actually had to run into Jewel uh, for Riley's birthday party tomorrow. We're just grabbing some cupcakes just for the girls to snack on. But I'm gonna end this vlog tonight. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification button so you know when we post videos and like this video because you know, all of our all of our vlogs and we will see you guys in our next one bye